Hi, it's Cake Up Kristen, and today I'm going to be talking about color correcting. To color correct, I'm going to use my Ultra Professional Corrector Palette by Makeup Revolution. To apply it, I'm going to use this flat brush by Morphe Brushes. Basically, the gist of color correcting is looking at the color wheel and looking at the color directly across from it in order to correct that color, if that makes sense. Say I have some red blemishes on my face, I'm going to look at the color wheel, I'm going to look at red because that's the color I want to correct. I'm going to look directly across from it, which will be green, and I will be just putting that green color corrector all over all my redness and red blemishes and stuff like that. Pink, salmons, and any orange tones you want to use to correct any dark spots on your face. For me, I use the salmon color a lot because I have a lot of acne scars. Yellow you can use to cancel out any purple or blue tones. Purple you can use as a brightening tool, so for me, I'm going to apply that right under my eyes. I'm honestly not sure what the white one does, but if I were to use it, I'd probably just use it um, where I apply my highlight. After I'm done color correcting, I'm going to use my damp beauty blender to blend out the edges just so that the colors don't show through and it won't be as thick of a layer when I put my foundation on. For foundation, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in the number 310 Sun Beige. I'm going to dot that all over my face and then blend it in with my damp beauty blender. As you can see, my face is starting to look even toned. You can't see any of the colors that we put on through the foundation. It just looks like one color. To conceal, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the number NC35. To apply it, I'm going to use my flat brush by Morphe Brushes. I'm also going to apply a little bit on my chin, my forehead, nose, under the hollows of my cheekbones, and a little bit on my cupid's bow, and then blend that out with my damp beauty blender. The last step for my face makeup is using my Maybelline Loose Powder in the shade Light. And I'm going to use this to bake and set the rest of my foundation. To apply it, I'm going to use this big fluffy brush by Morphe Brushes. So that is basically the gist of color correcting. If you're confused at any point in time, you can always refer to the color wheel. Look at the different colors on your face. Pick those colors out on the color wheel. You want to look at the color directly across from that color. <laughs> Green cancels out red, purple cancels out yellow, yellow cancels out purple, etc. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And if you want to see any other tutorials or how-tos, then just let me know in the comments below. Stay cake, stay fierce, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!